Hey, I'm actually going to do a, um, a book review, which I haven't done in a long time. And this one I've been meaning to do for a long time. And it's called Top 10 Most Influential Christians Since the Apostles. Um, I've been meaning to do this for a while, and I just keep forgetting, or I have other things are going on, and I've actually fallen behind. I've actually read three or four books since, or including this, was the last one I read. And I've just been falling behind. I, I um, again, when I do these reviews, it's not. It's mostly just to put something out there that maybe people don't know these books are out there and that they're very good to read. So I do that. Um, anything I think it's worthwhile. So this book here is actually um, it's a small book. It's only about 130 odd pages, and um, it includes some lists in it. And just by the title, top 10 Christ most influential Christians. And it's by uh, Ken Lambert and Abby Matsky. And I actually had an opportunity to meet uh, uh, Ken. He actually lives close by to me. And uh, arrangements were made, and we met, uh, I think it was a Dunkin' Donuts or something, and, or whatever, and talked for a while about some stuff and, and, and about his book. And, you know, reasons for doing it and so forth. And I, I got to say that um, one thing about this book, it goes through it. Basically what he does is he... He and she, um, they go and basically you start reading through these 10, uh, 10 people. And I believe they're in order. Let me just check. Um, bear with me. Yeah, the list. Um, nope, it doesn't. Okay. I think it goes um, in the book. It starts off and goes uh, oldest to, you know, most ancient to the most modern, uh, but then in the end, he he and she list them from I think most important all the way through, um, you know, not as important, you know, you know, the ten number ten. And actually, what's really cool about this book is after they go through and do the articles, they're like newspaper articles or short stories or short uh, biographies, I guess, of these individuals. And once they go through those 10, they actually have a shorter section that talks about uh, the other 11 through 20 that, you know, runners up, basically. And, 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 and which, what I liked about that is, let's say you didn't agree with the 10, maybe you had some in their 11 through 20, and then they go through and kind of talk about why they're either not in the 10 or whatever. And uh, if you can see by the book, it's uh, this is not the hardcover, but it's actually put together very well. It's not really a thick book. It's 137 pages. Um, very easy to read. I would say it's written on an eighth grade level, roughly. Um, sorry. <clears throat> what I liked about it is that uh, if you were, if it was a, like a Christian school, maybe this would definitely need to be on the curriculum. Definitely, hundred percent, hundred percent. It's a very good outline of ten influential people uh, in that influenced the world that were Christians. It's not so much a book about why they're great Christians. It's more about what influence they had, um, and I, that's what I found really interesting about the book. It um, you could actually read um, how they how they why they mattered in uh, history, basically, and what they did and so forth. And I'm, I don't want to give anything away on on these people, so I'm not going to sit there and, and go through too much. Well, I'll just do the first one. The first chapter is on Emperor Constantine and how Emperor Constantine was influential. In doing the things that he did, from the from being a general in the Roman army to Council of Nicaea, and all in uh, basically his influence in the in the world and 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 in bringing Christianity into the Roman Empire, and then they go on to the next all the way through, and um, like I said, in the end they talk about the eleven through twenty and different things uh, that they might have. I'll give it away a little bit. Let's go through uh, like. Uh, you know, the, the 11 through 20, uh, Henry VIII is in the 11 through 20, and they do a, actually do almost over a page, over a page on him. Um, James I, King, King James Bible, he's in 11 through 20. And there's short one or, one or so page articles on them. But the top 10 get, you know, many pages, obviously, 20, 30 pages a piece or whatever. So, um, um, and you can imagine who's in the top ten. I mean, if Constantine's in the top ten, you got people like uh, Martin Luther King Jr. and stuff like that. You know, people like that are in there. And um, I guess 
all I could say really about it without giving everything away and who the, I don't want to give the list away. <laughs> but there are people you like Martin. I saw not. I said Martin Luther King Jr. I, said, I meant Martin Luther. Martin Luther. Uh, nothing against Martin Luther King Jr. But as far as um, um, Martin Luther, obviously, as far as a Christian, a Christian who made the most impact on the world, you know, Martin Luther has to be in the top top ten. Has to be. I'm not going to say if Martin Luther King Jr. is in there or where he might be. Um, so. Um, I guess what I'm saying is if you are a, really anyone, anybody who's interested in Christianity and how it affects the world, you should read this book. And it wasn't expensive. I think it was $10. Um, you can pick it up on, I think Amazon does carry it. Um, what's the publishing company? Truth Book Publishers. And yeah, and it lists for $9.95. So uh, what's nice about it, though, is it gives you a short little blurb on all of these people. So if you need to reference, if you're talking about somebody about Christianity or Christian figures or people who relate to Christianity, and if you have this book in your library, you can refer to it. And that's what I like about books. When I read books, I like to keep them for that reason. And this book is great for that. I'm, I'm sure I'll be flipping through this for years. Um, just, just for the quick bits of information about these people. And obviously you can dig deeper, but they both, uh, Ken and Abby did a great job I hate to call, I don't want to call her Abby because I've never met her, but I've met Ken. Um, you can, uh, they did a really good job of organizing this in such a way that it's almost like a textbook. I, I, in fact, I think it could be qualified as a middle school textbook. Um, just to, on a, on a block on Christian influence in the modern world or whatever. Um, I think it would be very, very, a very good, very good textbook for that. Uh, I think anybody who has an interest in these, in these matters would have, the, should have this in their library. I think it's a really good book. Um, like I say I do refer to it on occasion, um, at least once every few weeks. I'm looking at it for something, and I think it's. I'm just glad to have it. I was glad I was given the opportunity to know that it existed and picked it up. So, um, if you're looking for a really good book on, uh, you know, Christian Christianity and how it relates with the world and who and who did it, uh, this is actually uh, this is a really great uh, book you should pick up. I got to give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Um, they did a really good job with it, and it, again, it's, it, the price is great. I mean, if you for ten bucks, roughly, depending, I'm sure it's going to vary, vary a little bit here and there. Um, you're going to get a uh, some really good information out of it. So, if you have an interest in that subject matter and you have a few bucks to spare, I think, it, like I said, I think you can get it on Amazon. Um, but um, if you go and look around, uh, this this book is definitely worth your time. I went through it in a few days, two or three days, I was done. And uh, I've read it twice myself already fully, and I uh, use it again for reference. And it's just nice to have in your library. So um, if you can pick it up, I definitely recommend it. Price is right, the content's really great, and um, it's definitely worth your time. And like I said, it, 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 the way they organize the lists and how they explain them, it, it, they do a really good job with that. And it's not biased toward Christianity or anything. I think even, I'll give something else away. I think even there's non Christians on the list. Um, yeah, they they basically have a one through twenty list, and then they have a honorable mentions even after that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven honorable mentions. So really, the list contains twenty seven people. Um, and I will give something away. Well, maybe not. I know he mentions other people too, so maybe that's where I'm getting it from. Yeah, I was going to say something, but it's it's just. Um, I'm not even going to edit that out because, you know, I, I don't like to edit mistakes. Out. I'm a human being. I make mistakes, too, and I'm going through something I don't remember. But, but, but right there, that should show you that I can look through and reference what I need right away. So it, the books are organized very well that way. So uh, pick it up if you have a chance. And uh, it's a really good book. It's definitely worth the money and your time. Thanks for watching.